Hello everyone, Nora the Lekker Queen here. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Today is the second of my weekly questions uh, video and today I will be responding to a question from Luzette and she would like to know about root bound plants, when to um, upgrade a pot, how to do that and so on. So we'll have a few discussions around that. I've got here with me my Alocasia bisma. My Alocasia bisma I've had for a few months now, probably a couple of months only. She's living in Lekka and I think she's really, really happy. This here is her newest leaf and it's doing really, really well. I will show you what her roots are doing. So this is my plant and these are the roots. You've got the roots that are coming out there and the whole pot is nothing but roots. This plant is root bound and I need to upgrade this pot and I need to put this into a bigger pot, put it, have more liquor around it. What happens if I don't? If I don't, these roots are going to start getting root rot because in as much as they are water and lecker roots, that's just way too much exposure to my nutrient solution for alocasias in particular. I know alocasias one minute can be fine and then the next second they're just gone. So I really have to keep on top of um, repotting my alocasias. So this particular one immediately needs an upgrade and needs to go straight into some fresh lecker. So I am going to show you how I do that. I'll bring you closer. So I've got my plate here, I've got my plant and I will just start to gently squeeze it. Just gently squeezing, trying to loosen up that lecker and get that plant out. So of course, I've got my plant between my thumb and my finger, hold that there. And squeezing as I go along, squeezing as I go along and there she comes. That's the pot out of the way. And there, that's a lovely indication of a root bound plant. It has taken up the shape of the pot and that's how it stays. So that's it. That plant is very much root bound and needs a new pot. So I just gently start to shake the letter off. Because this is an alocasia, I want to look out for corms because there could be some corms in this lecker. There's nothing here so far. So just shake that out a bit just to get those roots loose. So when they go into the new lecker, they can easily start growing into that and not be in its root bound state. So that's what that looks like. Look at those lush, lush roots. It's just amazing. So I don't see any corms here, which is a shame but that's fine. So this plant was living in a 100 millimeter pot. So this is 100 millimeters. Ideally, you'd like to go the next size up with pots, but I'm gonna go into a 14, um, 100 millimeter pot. So that's that one. That's only because it's the next size up that I can find, which is a clear pot. So, you know, if I had maybe the 12, that would be ideal, but I don't have one. So this is what I use. So I'll take this opportunity. I'll take this opportunity to actually change over the lecker. Just, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this lecker, but just because I don't have enough of this particular type of lecker for this plant right now. So I'll put it in my brown lecker. So grab my pot and put about one third of the way of lecker, like we always do. So that is about give or take a third. So those roots are not going to be in direct contact with the nutrient solution. And I'll then grab my plant and try and spread out the roots as much as I can. So I'm trying not to just put it in as a big heap, but that's what that's going to be. So that's right there in the middle. And I will now put more lecker in this pot.
just give that a gentle squeeze just to make sure the lecker goes everywhere and when you give that squeeze you do get the lecker moving and settling in nicely so you've actually got more room to put more so that is my plant and you can see the roots are up there so they've got all this space to grow down they've got that space to go up and that plant really looks good in that pot that is a size up so that's looking really really good so that is my alocasia bisma looking really well so why do you want to actually repot your plant so if the plant is living in a small pot the roots have completely taken over and um, taken over the pot the plant does not grow as well as it can so you find that sometimes your plant will start to get yellow leaves the leaves will start to drop or it's just not growing as well as it's been growing so you want to look at your roots and see what's happening and if it is indeed root bound all you need to do is just give it a new pot and your plant will love you for it. So thank you very much for asking that question, Lucette. I hope that answered um, your query. If there's any comments about this, please leave that in the comments below and I'm happy to address that. And don't forget, look out for my weekly posts on Monday on my community tab, ask a question and I might be responding to your question. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.